I'm Nicole Gomez and this is your morning update for Friday, April 23rd. A shooting left one person dead and four others hurt around 1030 last night in the gas lamp quarter. Officers found a 28 year old man who had been shot on the sidewalk near 5th and J. This was in the in front of the Pendry Hotel. That man later died. Police say the suspect then continued to walk north on 5th, got into an argument and opened fire again, shooting four more people. Three of them were taken to the hospital. One was treated and released at the scene. The suspected shooter has been taken into custody. Now onto our coronavirus coverage. The pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be lifted as soon as today. A CDC committee is meeting today to consider whether to resume its use after reports of six women developed rare blood clots. Today they'll look at more recent data to determine whether the benefits outweigh the risks. San Diego County has 11,000 J&J vaccines ready and on hand waiting right now. They're waiting for guidance from the CDC before using them. San Diego is ahead of other counties in the region when it comes to getting people fully vaccinated. State data shows our vaccine rates are higher than Orange County, Riverside and LA counties. Right now, 43% of San Diego and 16 and older are fully vaccinated and 66% have gotten at least one dose. Vaccines will likely be required this fall on all Cal State and UC college campuses. That requirement would apply to all students and staff, but would only go into effect if the FDA gives full approval for a vaccine. As you know, right now it's just emergency approval. Both university systems would grant exceptions based on medical or religious grounds. The Del Mar Vaccine Superstation has expanded to an additional building, which allows it to give more shots each day. Yesterday, it administered 6,000 doses, and today they'll do another 5,000. Those are the highest single-day totals at the site since it opened up in February. A pop-up vaccine event is being held tomorrow in National City. 1,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine will be given out tomorrow at St. Mary's Church. The event runs from 9 in the morning to 3 p.m. Appointments are encouraged, but walk-ups are welcome. Now, this could affect your travel plans. This weekend, there will be a full rail closure between Solana Beach and San Diego. So this is to accommodate crews as they continue to do that emergency work repairs to the Del Mar Bluffs. The closure will begin just after midnight on Saturday. It'll continue through early Monday morning. There will also be a partial rail closure next weekend between Solana Beach and the Santa Fe Depot downtown. That's from Saturday, May 1st to Monday, May 3rd. We'll continue to bring you the latest news here and at NBC7.com and on TV as well. You can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day.